Hello. Hello, and welcome to the episode two of the final season of the Clone Wars Review. Clone Review. This is our bit later because I was spending some quality time with my girlfriend. Let's just jump into it. So this is a review of the second episode of the final season of the Clone Wars, which is called A Distant Echo. Now, the first episode was them uh, infiltrating a Separatist uh, base and uh, finding out that Echo may be alive. This is where we introduce the Bad Batch and their mission. Help the Republic recover this Separatist algorithm as to showing them how they win. Yeah, so this episode leads off a bit from a bit after the last episode, obviously. So you've got Anakin and Rex talking. Um, obviously, apparently, Anakin and Rex do this thing where Anakin talks to Padme and Rex like, kind of stops people from going in the barracks. Well, this, this happened here. We see them talking. We see Anakin and Padme sharing a nice little conversation. They do the little hand touch thing that was in the trailer. That was pretty cute, to be fair. And then Obi-Wan rocks up like, Yo, where the heck is Anakin? And Rex is like, I don't know where Anakin is. I don't know where could he be? And everyone's like, yeah, mate, I know he's in there, right? He's like, he's just spot checking my ge my gear, guys. He's just spot checking it. And then as everyone's about to go in, Anakin just waltzes out with the Captain Rex. And he's like, here you go, bro. And then Kenobi, Kenobi don't buy any of it. He's just like, I hope you said hi to Padme from me. And Rex is just like, so yeah, Kenobi knows about Anakin Padme. I mean, we already knew this. He, he was... He clearly was in on that. The cat has joined me once again. Wow, this seems like a common occurrence on these Clone Wars reviews. You, you want you want to say anything? Don't know if you picked that up, but she meowed. So anyway, they go to Skako Minor, which is where they found out the source was being transmitted from, which is where they're keeping, which is where they're transmitting the uh, algorithm from. So they go to Skako Minor. There are natives on that planet. They're pretty primitive. They don't speak Galactic Basic. They speak their own little language, which tech translates. Apparently, there's a, there's a translation for this random language in the galaxy. Who knew? Not me, but apparently tech knows it and can pronounce it, which impressed me, to be fair. Now, these natives, they were they worship these flying creatures. I think they're called Kiridax or something, which then comes up and abducts Anakin and takes him to their... They're like tribe and then the Bad Batch follow them and they force them into surrender without killing a single one of them which was pretty pretty epic so yeah they're on Skeka Minor they're like yo guys my friend is on this planet we want to rescue him and then we'll leave and then the, the chief's like yo we'll give you some scouts and then you can fuck right off so they do that they find the Imperial no the Imperial the Separatist base there's a bit about how Wrecker hates heights. Because apparently big strong man can't do heights. Don't really blame him. Because some heights can be quite terrifying. But that's besides the point. So they waltz on up. Up they go. Kill a bunch of droids. They're the B3 units which look fucking sick in fully rendered animation. They, they can look more insectoid. Then they come off in the pre-render footage. But man, they look fucking sick in this uh, in this episode. So the, the B3 units, for anyone who is unaware, were the next step of Battle Droid. They were supposed to have wings. Yeah, they can fly. They fly now! No, they fly now! They fly now! They fly now! They fly now. They didn't actually fly in this episode. Well, technically when Anakin... Was it Anakin? No, technically when Wrecker, like, yeeted a bunch off of, um... The fucking thing. They... They... They, they died. So they're in the, um, the what do you call it, the base, the Scepter's base. They're like, yo, let's do this stealthy. Then they kill a bunch of droids and they go from room for room by room. And Anakin gets ambushed by two B3 units but somehow lives. I mean, he's Anakin, of course he's going to live. What am I saying? So yeah, they fight a bunch of more B3s. Crosshair saves Anakin. Then they all converge on this central point where the signal is going through. There's parts of the episode where Tech loses... Echo's signal, and that's because he's not transmitting data. And they're like, "Oh my, sh oh my god!" When he's transmitting data, is when we can hone in. When he's not, we can't. Whoa, that's crazy. So yeah, they uh, they waltz on in. Tech uses his hacker man skills. There's like a big fight with all a bunch of B3s. It's, it's very cool. Very Clone Wars. They all help each other. You know, it's nice, nice combo shit. And then they hack into the uh, main room, the main terminal room, 
and there's like this fucking um, stasis chamber and Tech's like, I'm detaching one life form! So he opens it and there we see Echo. Decrepit as fuck. And I'm, I'm saying, the, the fully rendered version of Echo is creepy as hell. Like, they did a really good job preserving his creepiness. They free Echo, and Rex is like, it's okay, soldier. I came back for you. And then, obviously they're gonna, they're gonna have to bust him out from Skako Minor with Admiral Trench and Wat Tambor on them. So, maybe they'll kill Wat Tambor, but obviously he dies in episode 3, so they won't. But So yeah, this is the second episode, episode of the do, of the Bad Batch arc. I think there's three episodes in total. The last one will be <laughs> the last one, obviously. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I enjoyed the episode. I think it was quite good. It was a very good sequel to the first episode. Obviously, I've seen I've seen all the original story reel stuff, so I know what happens. But just seeing it in full quality, as I said last time, is amazing. So yeah, if you guys have watched it, tell me what you thought of it down below. And yeah, I shall see you guys in the next episode of my review series. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch, Kim Foo took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy by just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.